Hello, everyone. It is your host with the most, Devin Lionheart here. I'm back on YouTube, and today this video is a little, a little personal for me because I have to talk about something off of my chest. I want to give my story of when I was a kid growing up going to school. Not most of people know this, but I have been mentally disabled ever since I was practically born. Hence my new, my disabilities weren't given to me by birth, but by the doctor making an accidental fatal error on me. So I won't go any further into that. So where do I begin? Well, I guess I should go to the beginning when I first started going to when I was first in Longview, being moved from Longview to Or City. First day of Or City School. We'll start off there. How about that? I wanted to find some friends. So I'm going to ask around if anybody would like to be my friend. Almost instantly, everybody on the playground knew that I was the new kid. I wasn't the brightest kid. I was desperate for friends. In a new town that I had no familiarity with, nobody I knew. And nobody cared. Nobody from the teachers to the students to the parents cared what happened to your boy Devin Lionheart. A few days later, I was constantly being picked on, beat up, bloodied up, punched up, kicked up. Rocks thrown at, hitting with sticks, just about anything you can imagine on the playground, they did. They had no remorse, these kids. They had no remorse for a person with disabilities. Until this day, I'm still scarred, mentally scarred by what happened at Orr City School. And the worst part of it, the teachers in the school, and let alone the principal of the elementary school, at the time was Dr. Davis. The four semesters, just about four semesters actually, second grade to fifth grade, I was in, I was constantly ignored, beat up, thrown around, so on and so forth. And nobody dared to help, from the students to the teachers. Or city school claimed that they could handle disability children, but they went out of their way to make sure that my life was a living heck, a living nightmare. They would never hear my side of the story. They would never let me speak. They would only take the side of the other kids because one, they were either sporty, popular, smart, or something that I wasn't. And they would never want to hear my side of the story. They always chose the other party. I luckily I had my parents to stand by my side and defend me and try to keep me in school until the fifth grade came. Near to the end of the fifth year of school, I decided to go for a walk during PE in the school. And hence I remind you at the time, there was no teachers in the hallways at this time. And they let me do anything I wanted because they didn't care. They didn't care for people like me. 
and I walked over to the high school, and that's when the high school principal asked me what I was doing there. I said, I thought I would check out next semester where I'd be going, and she started walking me around. She started to tell me that she would start putting these changes in where the lockers would be removed, walking to different classes would be removed, all special privileges would be gone that would be given to kids in high school. And not knowing that, I'm sure she didn't realize that doing this would put a serious target on my back. And I realized this, that I would be a serious target and I had to take my mother's offer and go into homeschooling because I knew I would be a uh, Terribly injured or worse. Terribly be injured or the worst situation capable. Afterwards. I would not be safe. So I went into homeschooling. For my own protection. And thank God I did because I learned more than I could. In homeschooling than I could in anything in a city school. In a public school. Or city school is. They claim they can handle disability children, but they can't. So, for the parents that are watching this video and listening, if a school guarantees, oh, well, your kid will be safe even though he has mental or physical disabilities in our school, they will take care of them. They really won't. They won't. Don't fall for the tricks, don't fall for the lies. So, my uh, way to solve this issue is. Simply to ask the United States of Congress or the president or whatever through this video, I'm hoping they're watching that action will be taken for kids that have mental disabilities or physical disabilities to be put into a school where they can be safe, where they will be safe and be taught properly. I can go further in this subject, but I'm running out of time. I'm running out of footage for dual links. Please, everyone be safe. This is Devin Linehart, and I'm asking all of you to duel on. I'll see you all around.